today we're gonna be looking at the Cutie Sticks Cut and Create Station. So this set is for ages six and up. It comes with 24 sticks in three different sizes for a total of 224 cuts. And if you run out of your sticks, you can get some of the refill packs like the Emojis Pack, Treats Pack, and the Animals Pack. So with this pack, we are able to create some animal figures, nail art, bracelets, and necklaces. So here is what the back of the box looks like. So let's go ahead and open it up. So the first thing that we get in the box is our storage station. And right here on the storage station, we also have a nice little storage drawer. Next, we have the coring unit. And right here, we have a safety door. And here on the top, we have a handle. Next, we have the cutting unit. So on the cutting unit, we also have a plunger, a cutting knob. We also have a chute. On the other side, we have the actual cutting unit. Next, we have two cutting frames. So we have one right here. This one is for the teeny sticks. And what we're going to do is we're just going to place it right here with that little hole kind of facing down. And I'm just doing this to store it. And then we have one for the cutie sticks, which is a little bit bigger. And again, I'm just gonna have that hole facing down like that. And I'm just gonna store them like this. Next, we have a sticks wand. And this will help us push the sticks through the cutting frame. So you can just place it in here for now, just to store it. We also have two coring containers that look like this. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take one, I'm gonna place it right here on the back of the coring unit just to store it. And then right here inside of the uh, safety door, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another one and just place it right here to store it. Next, we have the threading unit. Next, we have two spools of thread and we have one in pink and one in purple. Now everything else that we have today is going to go into our storage station. So we have some adhesive dots and these are for your nail art. And I'm just going to go ahead and separate these strips here. Like that. So here are all of my strips. And we can just take them and we're going to place them inside of the storage station. I'm just going to place them like this, just like that. Next, we have our jewelry clasps. So we have eight that look like this and eight that look like this one right here. When you put them together, they will lock your bracelets or your necklaces together like that. Next, we have 24 of these bead connectors. And I'm just gonna place them in here. We also have a coring wand and I'm not really sure where to put this so I'm just gonna place it in my storage drawer and close it up. Next we have four of the mighty sticks. We have a heart, a cat, a puppy, and a butterfly. And here's what the sides of the sticks look like. They look really cool. And I'm just gonna place them in here to store them. Next we have 14 of these cutie sticks and these ones are a little bit smaller than the mighty sticks and a little bit bigger than the teenies. So we're just going to go ahead and place them here to store them. Like that. Here are three more of the cutie sticks. Here we have four more cutie sticks. And the last four of the cutie sticks. And then we have some teeny sticks. So here is everything that we got in the box. And of course we also have some instructions. But we are finally ready to start creating. 
So I'm gonna start by doing the nail art because it seems like it's the easiest thing to do. We are not going to need our threading unit or the threader spools. And we're also not going to need our coring unit. So I'm gonna pick out one of the teeny sticks. And I like this one right here with the little butterfly on it. It looks really cute. So we're gonna start by using the cutting unit. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the cutter knob all the way to the left, like that. Now we're going to turn it around, and we're going to get the Teeny Sticks cutting frame, which is this small cutting frame here, and we're going to place it into the tube with that little hole facing down, like that, all the way in. Now we're going to insert our teeny sticks that we want to do for the nail art. Now we're going to get our sticks of wind to push the teeny sticks all the way to the back until it stops. Okay, and it feels like it has stopped right there. Now we're just going to press down on the plunger. And you can see that our little butterfly is now in the chute and we can take it out and here is what it looks like oh my goodness it is so teeny tiny so we're gonna try that one more time I'm gonna press my little wand until the stick stops and I'm going to turn it this way so we can see what's going on in there. All right, so we are now looking inside of the cutter to see what exactly happens when we push down the plunger. So I'm going to press it down. Three, two, one. You can see this little blade is starting to come down as we press it. And look at that. It's cutting right through that butterfly and it dropped it down into the chute. And then again, if we press the stick, it pushes it towards the front again like that and then we press it down and it slices off another piece so that is really cool and both of my little butterflies here have fallen out of the chute and onto the table so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my sticks let's see let's take out the frame and knock it over and here is the rest of my sticks and I forgot to tell you guys these are really cool they're really rubbery feeling and that's all they really feel like is like an eraser or rubber and they're just really neat and they feel really soft. So that is really cool. I'm gonna set this one aside for later because I don't wanna cut all of it right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my adhesive dots. And I'm gonna take off this little sticker here. Like that, peel that off. And now we have this piece opened up. I'm going to place it on my fingernail. And I'm going to press it down really hard. We're going to pull it up. You can see that that little sticky dot is now on my nail. I'm going to take my little butterfly and stick it down. So that is really cool and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a bracelet and you can use this exact same method to make a necklace if you just add a little extra string. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to pick out a cutie sticks, which is the medium size. And I think I'm going to start with this little frog one right here because I think it is really cute. So we're going to need our cutting station. And we're going to turn the knob to the right. And I think that's as far as it goes. So it only goes this way for small. This way for the cutie sticks and the mighty sticks will also be on this size. Now we're going to get the cutting frame. And you can see that this one is bigger than the one that we used for the teeny. And we're just going to place it inside of the tube again, just like we did before with the hole facing down and press it in all the way. We're going to take our cutie sticks and place it through the hole like that. Now we're gonna take the uh, sticks wand and we're gonna press it all the way back again until it stops. 
And then we're just gonna press down on the plunger. And here is what our little frog bead looks like. So I'm going to take my stick swan and I'm going to press it through again, push it towards the front. And we're gonna see what happens when we press down that lever. It's going to cut our frog. Just like that. So those are really cute. And now I'm just gonna take out the frame, tilt it, and here is the rest of my frog sticks. Now we're gonna cut a mighty stick. Now for the mighty sticks, you actually don't need a frame. We're just going to place the stick inside of the tube like that. And again, we can use our little stick wand to press it in and press down on the plunger. And here is what our little puppy looks like. And I'm just going to do it one more time so we can see exactly what's happening inside of our cutting station. And those are really adorable. So here you can see the different sizes of the sticks that we have. We have a Mighty Sticks, a Cutie Sticks, and then the teeny sticks, which is just used for nail art. So now what we're gonna need to do is core our beads. So we have the two different coring containers. So let's go ahead and open up the safety door. Take that one out and the other one from the back here so I can show you the difference between these two containers. So you can see here that we have two different sizes. We have one that fits the cutie sticks and one that fits the mighty sticks. So I'm gonna start with the cutie sticks one. So I'm gonna take my frog and I'm going to place it inside like that and close it up. So there are two different ways that you can cut your bead. You can do it through the center core right here, but that will cut right through our frog's face. So I don't want that to happen. We also have the sides that we can cut through, which I think is best for these because that way we don't mess up the face. So we're gonna open up the safety door like that. So now we're gonna figure out exactly how we're going to core our little bead. Now, we are going to either choose to place it in this way to core through the center. And when you're doing the coring through the center, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this little hump right here is facing outwards and you would put it in like that. But we are going to core through the sides. And again, we're going to want that hump facing outwards. And we're just gonna place it through the side like this, place it in. And then we're gonna close up the door, latch it, and then we're just gonna press down the handle. Like that. Now we can open up the safety door. Pull out the coring container. And it looks like our little core piece just fell out, so that is really good. And of course, if it did get stuck, you would use the little coring wand to make sure that the core came out. And I will show you how to do that on the big one. So now we're just gonna open it up, take out our bead and see how it looks. So here's the bead from the front and then on the side, you can see it's got a hole in it now so that we can put it on a string. And that looks really cool. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for the mighty size. And we're gonna take the big coring unit, open it up again. We're going to place in our design. I'm gonna place it in right here. I guess that's fine. Let's see, can I push it up some? I wanna make sure it doesn't come out crooked either. So I guess, hmm, seems like it should be up a little bit for this dog. Snap it in, hopefully that'll work okay. We're going to take it place it inside the coring unit. And again, trying to make sure that it doesn't flop over, otherwise it's gonna come out crooked. Make sure it's in there just right. No, stop flopping over. No, little puppy, you're gonna come out crooked if you don't stay straight. Okay, let me see. Stick them in here. 
should try to stick him in there nice and tight so he doesn't move. Like that. That looks good. He doesn't look like he's going anywhere now. That should cut just about straight. Place it in. There we go. He's not moving around now. Like that. Close it up. And then we're going to press the handle. So we're going to press it once. And I can see it kind of squishing him down in there too. Hopefully that doesn't mess it up too much. Let's see. Let it go. Now you can see it's not really popping back up because these ones are just so big. You gotta pull it up. And then we're gonna actually press it down a second time. That's what it says to do a second time. We'll see how it looks. See, hopefully it got him in the same spot. Let's see, open, open. There we go. Hopefully it came out in the same spot. Let's see. Okay. There he is. You can see that little piece of core here. And I'm going to show you guys what to do with the coring wand. It's that little tiny wand that kind of looks like a little key. We're going to take it and we're going to press. Yeah, you can see here it started to make a hole in his ear there when I did it a second time. Maybe not do it a second time. Um, might not need it anyway. If, as long as you're using this little coring tool. Press all of that out. Good. Push it from the other side as well. And it looks okay. So here he is. You can see he's got a hole on one side and a little bit of a hole right here under his ear on this side. I don't think that you should try pushing it down twice. I mean, maybe you'd have to on some of them, but it just seems like it's going to wiggle around in there and cause it to cause a second hole somewhere else. So from now on, I'm just going to press it down really hard and hopefully it'll come out. And if it doesn't, I'll just use the coring tool. So before we actually start making our bracelet, I'm going to show you guys how to make a figure. So I'm going to do the same thing again with the dog. I'm going to save this bead for my bracelet. Here is the other dog that I cut. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to place him in here. Now it says for the cutie dog, you will have to do him twice, one tilted one way, like that. You see how he kind of tilts? Place him in there, like that. And I guess we're going to core him in one direction. Let's see. Close it up and core him. Now, I, yeah, I guess I will just push it all the way through. We'll see what happens. I'm not quite sure how I feel about coring him twice. But we're gonna try it. Now I'm gonna take him out. And let's see. We're gonna take out that little piece of core there. So that looks good. Okay. And then we're gonna put him back in. And for this one, we're gonna turn him the other direction. Hopefully that comes out okay. He wasn't quite as tilted as I wanted, but we'll see. Okay, take him out. Okay, so he's got two holes on top here, but that's okay. We're not really going to be looking at that anyway. So he's got one hole right here down at the bottom of the side and one hole at the other side. So now we have this cutie stick here. And this one is white and it's also yellow and it's also got some stripes on it. You can't really see it right there very well. It, we'll be able to see it better when we cut it. So let's go ahead and cut our cutie stick. Then we're gonna kind of angle it a little bit. Place one in. I'm going to use my little coring stick to pop it out. Okay, so this one is kind of at an angle like that. And then we're going to do the other one. And this one is just going the other direction. So here is the dog and we're going to take one of these bead connectors place one right here through one end and then we're going to take a paw and let's see how do we want to face this we're going to do it like see how about this one here 
And that connects it. Do another one. And there is our little cutie figure. Now, I did notice that the stripes are not showing up very well on the little paws. So you might have to draw some on. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw on some little lines because these little lines just aren't showing up very well. We'll see how well it draws. Oh no, my little butterfly fell off. Come back. So that looks better. Now we still have these two beads for our bracelet, but this is not enough beads. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut and get some more of our little cutie sticks ready to go. So here is every different cutie and the mighties, all with the holes punched out and they are ready to be placed on a bracelet. So what we're gonna do is we are going to get the thread tube and we are going to rotate it over here to a 30 degree angle. like that and then we are going to start taking our cuties and mighties and we're going to start placing them on the tube now we're going to pick a color of string and i'm just going to use the pink let's see i think it'd be easiest if we pull from this side the long side there we go and what we're going to do is we're going to place it through this hole and just push it through the hole and up through the tube and here is the string now um, I didn't have enough room on the tube for my wrist I think I'm gonna need quite a few more so I'm just gonna go ahead and place all of the cutie sticks and mighty sticks on here So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our jewelry clasps. We're going to take one end. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick the string through this little hole. Okay, we're going to pull it through. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to tie a little knot. Like that. I'm going to make another little tie here just to make sure that it's a nice thick knot. Okay. And then I'm going to cut that little bit off the end. And we're going to pull this all the way to this end. We're going to move all of our little cuties down. And do the same thing with the ones over here on the tube. Pull it. Okay, so they're all on here now. And then I'm just going to cut a little bit here at the end. Take the other end of my clasp. And again, you're going to want to make sure that these are the two pieces that are going to go together. So you're going to have one that has that little piece poking off, like a little tab, and then one that is hollow. I'm going to pull this pretty tight. and cut and then we can take these two pieces and place them together and now you can see that I can wear my bracelet I did make it a little big because I wanted to put all of my characters on here so you guys could see them all together and I think it looks really cool now when you're done and you want to pull your string back you're just gonna start turning it the other direction like this to wind it back up and you can see that the string is starting to come back through the tube we're gonna grab the end of the string take it around and around and then pull it like that so it's ready for our next one all right you guys so what did you think of the cutie sticks cut and create station I thought that it was a lot of fun. We learned a lot about cutie sticks. I can't wait to see some more cutie sticks kits that they come out with because they are just so cool and so cute. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more cutie sticks videos.
Come back tomorrow for a new video. And if you like the video you just saw, don't forget to check out our other videos. Find us on Facebook and other social media. And as always, thanks for watching.